Hello, investors. And starting this week, we are going to be doing weekly recaps rather than daily recaps of the top seven list. It'll be a compilation video, a recap of each and every day. This week was a good week on Monday with the top seven picks at a 1.05% gain. Finished even on Tuesday. On Wednesday, finished with a 3.5% gain. On Thursday, finished with a 0.05% gain. And then Friday, 2.84% gain. Overall, it was an 8% gain for the week. And I am happy with an 8% gain definitely every week. That is phenomenal. Great week. There were a couple things that happened that were really good. I'm going to cover some of those things in this video. But this is going to be a recap mostly of Friday. Okay, so we have TTOO, which was not on the top seven list, but is still a stock that I own and that I feel good about, that I think we will see a profit in this eventually. We just got to hold out for it a little bit. TTOO had a 0.81% gain today, so real small. It was way up earlier in the day and then there towards market close. I think people didn't want to hold it over the weekend and there was quite a few sellers. In aftermarket, it was up 1.61%. It is a good pick. It will pay off. It's just not yet. So waiting and holding. Uh, volume was good today, but not above average. We'll just see um, how things go on this. Next was Jax. This was not on the list either. It's one that I own. Jax had gigantic insider activity on it. It had better than average volume and a 4.63% return. This is a stock really probably no one's ever heard of, but uh, had quite a few insiders buy at multiple uh, open market prices. I think that this stock is going to be a winner for us. It's going to be really good. Annex Annex was not on the list either. It was one I'm just kind of covering because we'd mentioned it before. It's an earlier call out. I did sell this today for a 4% loss. Probably should have held out since it finished 0.42% up. It was low volume today and so I became concerned about it. And so I just felt like it was time to, just time to move on just because the volume wasn't there and it hasn't spiked. And we made money on it before and then we kind of went back into it. And I find that when I do that, that typically don't do nearly as well the second time around. But you know what? Overall, it was a great investment. Number seven on the list was HCHC. It had a pretty nice day, way above average volume, 3.85% return. And then post-market, it's up a little bit more. I have high hopes for HCHC. It was great insider buying, so I've been very surprised that it was down at all. That was a nice little, nice little comeback today. Fossil was number six on the list and it had fresh insider activity from Thursday night and it performed well today. I feel really great about Fossil. A 6.98% return is always great. Way above average volume, so lots of people were buying and getting in. So yeah, Fossil had a really good day, 6.98% return, and I uh, felt really good about that. Number six on the list, way above average volume. Okay, next, EVF. So EVFM had just an okay day. I sold it today. Just felt like it wasn't moving like I wanted. I wanted the money available so that I could take advantage of other insiders moving forward. So EVFM just did kind of okay. HRTX, this is a PDUFA run-up. It is doing fantastic for us so far. This was number four on the list. A nice and up in it. The volume is increasing and I think going to do very well. Post-market, it's up even a little bit more. So feeling good about this one going into next week with approval on Friday. We'll just see how it's going. We'll watch for volume to dip on it. If that happens, then that'll be one probably that we move away from. For now, I'm feeling really, really good about it. So I'll just keep holding it. Chima, Chiasma, or CHMA, had another good day, 4.92% up. This is number three on the list, way above average volume, so triple. So investors are kind of figuring out this one and looking forward to its PDUFA date coming up next Friday. It's looking good. And NVAX had a fantastic day, number two on the list, with buyout rumors and also everything that's going on in the world today, above average volume. This one is really peaking and really surging. I think this is a great hold through the weekend and next Monday we should be up again. So I might hold it and keep it on the list until it's got a down day. A lot of times I'll do that. We get a momentum pick like this and you just let it ride until it has a bad day. And then that's when you move on from it. But NVAC's doing great and I think it could hit $80 and we'll just hold it and keep going. So uh, number one pick, was Yayo 
uh, sold it for a, oh, impressive, I think 68% is what I did on it. Just a fantastic investment. It had a rough day today. I started to sense that with the price action. I called it out that I sold it for a 68% gain. And then after that, boy, it really dropped. But I was able to get another 6% out of it today before it sold. It was a really good investment. But the insider activity is just getting older now. It was time to move on, definitely. So I will have more picks coming out tonight and we will be covering a lot of good insiders to take advantage of. If you guys saw and were paying attention on stock twits today, try to uh, day trade evoke on approval and the halt really kind of affected that lost one and a half percent on that whole deal. But I have specific rules and if those rules aren't followed and where you have three red bars, once you have those three red bars in a row, man, it's time to get out and that's just how it is. So, hey, I learned something, you know, only lost one and a half percent. So, really saved myself from losing more in that kind of situation. But uh, hopefully all of you had a great investment week also. And I wish the best for all of you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me below. Raytoven signing off.